So the other day, my son and I spent the afternoon driving around town looking for parking spots that we could test out Tesla's FSD auto parallel park feature within. Let's take a look at what we found. So at first I was pretty hopeful because on my first attempt, the auto park did seem to detect an, uh, a parking space but I really wasn't confident that it was the space between these two cars here as opposed to the driveway that was behind that black car that you see behind me in the in the backup camera and so uh, I didn't want to park in the middle of a driveway but in hindsight I realize now I, I should have initiated the auto park just to see where the car would have ended up trying to park. Anyways, I abandoned that attempt and I moved on to seeing if I could find a spot to park on the main street. And right away here, right in this spot here, I saw that the auto park did in fact detect a spot. And so I initiated the auto park and it did it perfectly. And as you can see, it, it did it pretty quickly. As a matter of fact, uh, there was a Ford Mach-E driving by to witness the whole thing. And this, I would say, falls under the category of Tesla doing it better than I could do it manually. Uh, this was an excellent parallel parking job. I had no complaints at all about the accuracy, the efficiency of it, the speed of it. It was great. So with that win in hand, uh, we decided we would mosey along and see if we could find some other spots to successfully parallel park in. And although the car did detect, uh, just up ahead it detected another spot that it could have parallel parked in, I kind of felt like by the time it showed me that it had seen the spot, which is right around here, um, I felt I was, I was too far ahead and there were cars behind me and I didn't want to, you know, back up and, and try to attempt that, that park. So uh, we kept looking for, for other spots uh, and, and just looking to see if the car would detect other spots because that's really critical because you can't initiate the parallel park unless the car detects a spot and offers to park. Sadly, after that last detection of a parallel parking spot, uh, I did not see the car detecting any subsequent spaces that it recognized as a spot that it could park at. So I would say parallel park is something that Tesla does very well when it recognizes a spot but it is still having a little difficulty recognizing all of the potential parking spaces that it could actually initiate an auto parallel park within. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time. Hey, if you liked this video, go ahead and click that like button and leave me a message. I'd love to hear from you. And of course, don't forget to click that subscribe button so you don't miss anything going forward.